Hey gang, Jimmy D here, back with Free Game Pass Hunters, and in today's video, we are going to grab our rewards points by earning an achievement in a Game Pass game called Botany Manor, which just came out on Game Pass not just a few days ago, where we are going to be working towards 100% completion so that we can get that 1,000 gamer score or that platinum trophy or whatever you guys get in Nintendo or Steam. And with all that being said, guys, let's go ahead and start up our game. Beautiful game, guys. Nice and relaxing. A lot of puzzles. A lot of clue-based stuff. Well, let's go ahead and start up a new game. There's a lot of clues to be had and a lot of miscellaneous stuff that doesn't relate to clues. But the way I think, guys, it's better to have and not need than need and not have. In this game, guys, pretty much the norm. Right stick is to look around. Left stick is to move. And if you tap your left bumper, it moves you kind of fast, like a sprint. First achievement, guys, comes really quick. We're going to head to the doors. And we're going to interact with the doors by pressing A. And, boof, let me in! <laughs> We're going to turn around, guys. And we are going to interact with this stuff here on the table. Like I said, so guys, some of this stuff is clues, some of it is not. But you can go ahead and have a look and then back off. But what we really need, guys, is this parcel right here. As this is our herbarium, the book that we're going to need throughout the game. Open it up. You can page through, guys, by pressing your right bumper. And it has all the maps and the flowers and what have you. We can go ahead and press Y to close it up for now. And since we picked it up, now we can head through the doors. Oof. Kind of smoky in here, guys. First thing we're going to do is head to the left. Now remember, guys, this is not a speed run. This is a nice, relaxing game. And I'm going to explain the clues as we go along. Well, let's go ahead and collect our seeds here on the left. And the first one is the windmill ward. don't have any clues on it yet so we don't know what the heck to do with it so let's go ahead and close it up for now let's look at these potting instructions here well put a plot on a, a saucer add soil plant a seed and water it duh, well duh let's back out and then here's a pot on a saucer so let's go ahead and go to our seeds here Ah, sorry. No, not go to our seeds. We gotta put soil in there first, and then our seeds. And then water it. Now, we got a little seedling of sorts, but we don't know what to do with it. So let's go ahead and turn around here and go to the bulletin board. And let's take a look at these wildflowers here. And go ahead and zoom in if you like. We know that the windmill wart is a volcanic flower. Well, good. Back out of there, guys. And then this gives us ideal soil temperatures for each one of the areas and each one of the flowers. 
Now, yeah, this is a clue, guys, but we are going to go ahead and close this out for now. As we don't know where this flower comes from. We know that it's volcanic, but we don't know the temperature which it likes. So let's go ahead and turn to our left. And again, let's read this newspaper here. Ah, we know that the windmill wart is a flower that soaks up smog. And then let's look at this postcard here, guys. Let's go ahead and press our left stick and turn it around. And we know now that this flower comes from Sicily. Back out, guys. And then if you go back to the board here, let's see. We know that the windmill wart is a volcanic flower. So we need to go to this column. And then we know that it's from Sicily. So let's go to this row. So the windmill wart likes to grow at a temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. Well, let's go ahead and head over here, grab our windmill wart. Well, let's go ahead and place it over here. And there's a heat vent. Well, the heat vent doesn't have a temperature set to it yet. So let's follow this pipe around. And you'll see a furnace of sorts. And since we know that the windmill wart likes 60 degrees Celsius, let's go ahead and turn this valve so that the temperature is 60 degrees. Back off of there, guys. Let's go ahead and open the heat vent. And boof. A wonderful little flower. We just grew our first flower, guys. And boof. We unlocked the windmill warp. Well, let's go ahead and add our clues, shall we? Let's press our Y button and add the clue for wildflowers. Postcard, and yep, there's one more, guys. This guy here. Back off, and then press Y. Add clue. didn't give it to us. Wildflowers postcard and what else do we need? It was supposed to give it to us. For reading this guy here. Temperature chart. Didn't give us credit for temperature chart. Now that we got all our clues, guys, we can go ahead and back out. And one more achievement today, guys. Let's go ahead and press A to pick up our windmill wart. And what we're going to do is head back over the potting bench. And we are going to go ahead and compost our windmill wart. And, boof, in the bin. At this point, guys, we can go ahead 
and pause our game, save our game, and yeah, it doesn't give us any indication, guys, but believe you me, it just saved our game. As it says, last saved now. We can go ahead and quit our game. And then quit our game. Turn in our rewards for the day. Head home. And for continued rewards, continued achievements and trophies, and continued videos, guys, you know what buttons to press. But as always, have a great day. See ya.